on Sunday, November 28, is the feast day of Blessed Maria Helena Stolenberg, co-foundress of the Congregation of the Sisters Servants of the Holy Spirit. Goods hold secrets all their own, hidden in the soil, they silently unfold powers of primary energy. They are never seen, for in the hidden struggle, they serve not themselves, but the young tree which they support and to which they give life and form. Blessed Marie Helena Stolenberg is such a person like roots hidden in the soil. She created an atmosphere of good relationships among the sisters because of her deep personal relationship with the Holy Spirit, which is the source of her extraordinary love for the community. According to her, the light of the Holy Spirit is the source of the community, the light of prayer. One becomes a true missionary and the light of love of the Holy Spirit stabilizes one's missionary vocation. As one HSAN community, let us gather in spirit and open our hearts as we also accept our mission and receive the light of the Holy Spirit. Let us say our opening hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. of the faith. Through her intercession and by her example, enkindle within your faithful and ardent charity that they may be witnesses of the gospel among all by their works and actions. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from 
the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury. For they have all contributed from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Let us listen to a part of Blessed Maria Helena's letter to her sisters, dated May 3, 1886. The missionary vocation requires sacrifices, hard work, and preoccupation, and often one can have the impression that it is all useless. That would be the time to look to Jesus Christ. Out of love, he took upon himself sacrifices and hard work, and even suffering and death. And yet, he had to experience that to which many remain indifferent. Courage and faith. God will compensate for that which we love. Let us frequently, with faithful abandon, throw ourselves into the arms of divine providence and then trust to God the children for whose education we are responsible, that we may guide their hearts as He guides the course of the streams. We must not let one day go by without thanking God wholeheartedly for our vocation. Being aware of the gift which he has given to us should cause us to exult with joy each time we think of it. Yes, we can do a great deal for the glory of God and for the salvation of the world. With great joy and burning hearts for mission, let us pray to God that we may become light to other people. In every petition we say, Rekindle in us the fire of your love. Rekindle in us the fire of your love. That the Church and its leaders may be missionaries of the love of God. And may they become God's presence to the outcasts of our society. We pray to the Lord. Rekindle in us the fire of your love. That the government officials may be faithful and serious in fulfilling their responsibilities and be agents of truth and justice. We pray to the Lord. Rekindle in us the fire of your love that all missionaries, especially the SSPS sisters, be guided by the Holy Spirit as they continue their mission of bringing Christ closer to the people we pray to the Lord. Rekindle in us the fire of your love, that all of us may become active sharers of the gospel through our actions we pray to the Lord. Rekindle in us the fire of your love. That our beloved deceased sisters, benefactors, families, and friends 
may receive the light of Christ and one day be resurrected with him, we pray to the Lord. Rekindle in us the fire of your love. Gathering all our petitions into one, let us pray the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God, Holy Spirit, you inflame the heart of your servant, Blessed Maria Helena, with apostolic zeal and love, she surrendered herself to you for the honor of the Blessed Trinity and the spread of your reign. We ask that through your help, we too may be ever faithful in seeking your will in all that we do. Give us, as you gave Blessed Maria Helena, that inner integrity to hold everything in its rightful place. Divine Spirit, may you be forever glorified with the Father and the Son through your servant, Mother Maria Helena. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from every evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. On behalf of the HSAN community, we would like to thank our Dira Sisters for being with us today in this paraliturgical celebration for the Feast of Blessed Maria Helena Stolenberg. And may the example of Blessed Maria Helena be our guide in following the footsteps of Christ in following Jesus to His glory. A blessed morning and God bless us all.